How's it going everyone? Bobby Digital bringing you another gameplay video. This time I'm bringing you some gameplay footage of Dragon Age. I, I stopped playing this game for a little while because of some other games that came out. Destiny, some Evolve, some other stuff and kind of lost track of this game but I came back and I just I love this game. It got game of the year like almost everywhere for good reason too. I mean, look at the graphics. This is one of the keeps you can capture. I actually haven't captured it yet. I just pulled up and I'm kind of like scouting it out and see what it's all about. Uh, these these are kind of tough. They got some high level enemies in there. Obviously, you can see you can go horseback riding. You got a you got a mount you can uh, you can buy. There's a, there's a bunch of mounts. You can even get little draclings, uh, unicorns, friggin' any kind of gay shit like that. Or you can get lizards. You can you can uh, ride and shit like that. Uh, it's a really cool game. Um, story is amazing. So obviously, it's Bioware. It's like it rivals Mass Effect. I, Mass Effect and Dragon Age, two of my most favorite uh, uh, RPG series. I'm going to show you some of the combat in here. Uh, my guy's playing a tank. Um, you can see we're out in the open world. This is just uh, we're just exploring. There's some beasts out in the world. Uh, you can see some bandits up there. They'll actually fight each other. So you can actually have. You know, you can do a little strategy, you can have the beasts or the wildlife whittle down some of the bandits before you attack them, or vice versa. That's what I'm doing here, I'm just I'm just letting this poor little bandit get get romped by this, uh, whatever, whatever this is. Quillback, I guess it's called. If you highlight over these enemies, they show you their stats, their health, their weaknesses, stuff like that. Uh, you can also, in this mode, in this viewpoint, it's, it's almost like uh, the old RPGs on PC. We have like a top-down god view, and you can like micromanage your your players. Generally, in in, in these kind of old-school RPGs, you want your warriors up front, your mages and your archers in the back, and you want your tank with the shield to pretty much aggro all the enemies and soak up the armor and use his shield to protect himself. While you have your two-handed warrior, you know, scratching his back from the side and basically. Uh, Taking down the taking down the south and using your mages and your and your archers to do a lot of the damage from from afar and, and have your mage support with healing abilities and and uh, and area of effect spells, uh, which is kind of what I'm doing. I'm focusing my tank right here on on some of the enemies. I'll use like a battle cry to draw them. I'll have my two handed warrior buff buff uh, my uh, I'm sorry buff um, protect my warrior and do damage from behind from the flank. Um, again, there's a lot of strategy. You don't have to play like this. You can go strictly into into just third-person combat, uh, like kind of an action RPG. There's a lot of that in there too. Uh, there's tons of spells. Uh, this game's uh, very customizable. You can have your your you can you can equip your party with their own special armor. You can craft armor, craft weapons, modify weapons. <laughs> I'm going to show you another uh, another example of of the whole tactic where I. Uh, use my tank to aggro and have everybody else in support. Right here, I'm gonna position my mage since he's a little too close to the to the to the hound, whatever it is. I'm gonna bring him toward the back. Right here, try. I'm trying to talk as I already. This is already pre-recorded. I'm trying to talk, so uh, it's kind of out of sync here. But I'm gonna also bring my archer along to the left over here. Uh, Drop some uh, some spike traps on the ground just in case a monster runs into them. And then I have my two warriors up front, with my tank aggroing. And you'll see my tank just blocking his his uh, attacks, the uh, hound's attacks, so he doesn't take any damage. While everybody else just hits this hound from behind. Really cool game. I love this game. Uh, I kind of don't know why I fell off of it, but I'm back on and, and I love it. Uh, you know, again, once again, you don't have to play like this. Uh, you can go strictly third-person combat uh, action RPG. There are also spell combos too, like you can have your mage freeze enemies and you can have your warrior use like a shattering strike to uh, to get like a bonus damage. Uh, there's things like that. Let's see what this next scene is. Just, if this seems kind of dull to you, wait, is it, the combat's gonna get better. You're gonna see a bunch more enemies right here. There's a shit ton I, I'm actually battling near the fo that that keep that I was that I showed you in the beginning. Here's one of the freeze spells. Now you'll see my warrior. I I think I get a shatter, a shatter strike on him. Boom. Yep. And I 
did like bonus damage on him. Uh, I'm going to show you toward the end of the video, actually a lot of the end of the video is going to be a dragon fight, um, which is really cool. It's, I've only really fought one dragon. They're super tough. I haven't killed one yet, uh, which, you know, it should be the case. You shouldn't kill dragons with ease. It shouldn't be like Skyrim, one hitting dragons and shit with uber powerful weapon. That's just kind of retarded. Um, Again, you can like highlight the enemies. You can see that this guy's a level 15. He's got, you know, massive armor and everything. Uh, you see what their vulnerabilities are. I got another guy with the frost spell from my mage. And my two-handed warriors just kind of like smash him into bits. Uh, you got my archer over there in support from the back. A really fun game. I love, I love the characters. Varric over there, the little dwarf archer. With the crossbow is one of my favorite. He's funny. Uh, yeah, I love how you can like uh, when you when you go into this view, you can pause time and stuff and see everything mid action. I think it's only polite. Okay, the next video here, you're gonna see me at one of my camps. You can uh, set up camps in the in the world. Uh, this game is so big that they said one of the maps, <laughs> one of the largest maps in here, is bigger than the entire world of Dragon Age Two, one put together. Uh, and there's 10 of these worlds, so you can just imagine. I'm gonna run into some uh, bandits here on my horse. Uh, this is, I'm actually trying to get to the dragon, but uh, these, these bandits uh, ambush me, so you're gonna see the little third person action combat instead of the tactical view. I just go in balls to wall and just, just uh, straight up hack them up to pieces. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna um, let you watch some of the dragon video, uh, some of the dragon gameplay coming up. He's right over that ridge in the back there. Uh, it's really cool. Like I said, the dragon fights are awesome. Um, I am going to be bringing you guys some uh, some more gameplay videos of Grand Theft Auto Online, where me and my buddies are doing some heists, which are awesome. Uh, I also got picked up Battlefield Hardline. I got a few clips. I'm going to put a montage together and show you guys that. But anyway, I'll leave you with the dragon gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bobby Digital out.